first off, can you tell me about approaching your aunt and basically asking for her blessing to write the screenplay? <laughs> I was really worried about it. I don't know. I, I guess I was worried she'd say no. Um, and I called her up and I said, I have this idea. And, and I pitched her the story. And she said, why that case? She said, I argued bigger cases. I argued cases in front of the Supreme Court, landmark cases. Why is that the one you want to argue, you want to write about? And I said, well, because it's the only one that you and Uncle Martin ever argued together, right? For me, this has always been a movie about a marriage. It's the two of them fighting in court for what they also, you know, figured out how to live at home, that real equality. And so once I told her that, she said, hmm, that's how you think you'd like to spend your time. <laughs> Did you ever toy around with the idea of taking this to, like, the epic extent and covering the entire course no, of No, never. Career? Never, not once. I actually, I... Generally speaking, I don't enjoy those episodic movies of like you know, cradle to to broken ribs. So I uh, I didn't I, that was not a story I wanted to tell. And then what was it like when you found out who was going to be cast in this movie too? Like what did Felicity bring out of your script that maybe you didn't even anticipate before as you were oh, writing it? Oh, Felicity's portrayal is it's, first of all she's uncanny. She's incredible. Yep. <laughs> um, and 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 you know Ruth has a very there's a very particular alchemy to her personality, especially when you know her sort of outside of the limelight, because she's she's as steely and precise and intense as you think she is, but there's, it's all undergirded by this joy and this optimism, and Felicity captures that so beautifully. To answer the other question you asked of what did she bring to it that I didn't even recognize until she taught it to me, it was how Ruth, Ruth does this thing, and now I can't unhear it when I talk to her, that when she when she gets emotional, she leans into her Brooklyn accent. And then when she sort of recovers that poise that she's so famous for, she stops. And then, and then she gets emotional again. She, and then there's certain words that it comes out. When she talks about New York or mother, she becomes more emotional. And if she leans into the Brooklyn accent. And Felicity captured that so beautifully. She plays that accent like it's a harp. It's incredible. What about the family dynamic, too? Because especially this year, I saw the RBG documentary. I have read up quite a bit about <laughs> Ruth Bader Ginsburg before. But I think it was the family element. And in particular, how the three of them, including Jane, operate. Yeah. And it was just such a rich dynamic that... I don't think we really get to hear about that all that much. No, usually the family's pushed aside. Um, but you couldn't write the Ginsburgs and, and push aside the family because you know you don't get a Ruth Bader Ginsburg without a Martin Ginsburg. And by the way, you don't get a Martin Ginsburg without a Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Yeah. They they were such that neither one of them is perfect, but the two of them together were perfect. And then putting Kaylee Spaney in between the two of them, and it's just like her bite. She goes toe to toe she with Felicity. She is so good, isn't she incredible? Yeah. She's just she has this this, this intelligence and this strength and this. And she She's great. She's We've incredible. seen a lot of her this year, and yeah. I can't wait to see more after We're this. We're going to see a lot more of her, I think. <laughs> I was also curious about your take on finding that balance between creating an entertaining piece of cinema, but also staying true to the fact. It can be a tough thing to balance sometimes. It can be. Um, you know, luckily the stakes were high from the start, and so that, that, that gives you that sort of that drive to keep watching the movie. Um, and she's such an intriguing character. Um, there, there's... There's very little in the story that isn't true. There's some stuff in the story that is inaccurate, but everything that's inaccurate serves the truth. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me a little bit about what you took from this whole process? Because so many people are going to see this movie, and for me, for instance, I walk out feeling just empowered and really striving for whatever I want to achieve. But Great. for you in particular, what did you walk away from this process with? That extra motivation, maybe something you didn't expect. You know what I walked away from? That I didn't, I'll, I'll tell you what I walked away with. Uh, since you asked. Um, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg changed the country, but she did it by convincing people to agree with her, not by destroying the people who disagreed with her. And that's what I walk away from this movie with, is this hope that maybe we can get back to that, because we seem really bad at it these days, and I don't know where the country goes if we don't find it again. I am going to cut that soundbite out and play it to myself every single morning. And ideally, you can play it to other people as well, but Ooh. sure.